YouTube, what's up? I figure I'd do this video really quick sitting in my chair while I'm sitting here playing the game. Um, Just sharing my thoughts real quick because actually I got to get off this thing anyway. I got to get off my game anyway because I got to get ready for work. I can't really play games during the week like I want to because I got to get up early. But, you know, people who know me understand, you know, what's up. But uh, I just try to squeeze some gaming in when I can uh, during the weekday. It's hard too. But anyways... What I wanted to talk about was uh, Starfield. Um, I want Starfield to be an Xbox exclusive. I do. I want Starfield to be the best game that it could possibly be. Really. I want it to be a juggernaut smash hit for the Xbox console. I do. One big reason why is because I feel like it would, it would add to the competition. It will make it will make the competition better. Not saying that Sony need it, and I'm not saying that they doing fine how they are, but I do feel like that gaming can be better if you know the competition is really brought, right? If I had it my way, I would like for I I would I would like Starfield to be an Xbox console exclusive. Really, like if 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 in another world, you know what I mean? Like I would I would want X. I mean I would want Xbox to have the console to have Starfield as exclusive. I would simply because I like console gaming and I want console gaming to thrive. Seriously, um, it's no shade at at uh. Xbox, or I mean on PC and Game Pass or anything like that. I'm just telling you what I would like to see from the Xbox console because I, I've stated plenty of times before how much I prefer console gaming over everything else. Over streaming, over uh, you know, services, over all of that. You make that console the best it could possibly be. What better way to do that than to make Starfield an Xbox console exclusive? You know what I mean? I wouldn't beg for con. I wouldn't want or or beg for Starfield to come to PlayStation. I wouldn't. I would if it, if the game is that great. I would be tempted to buy an Xbox for it. That's exactly what I want from gaming. I want that to be the driving force behind good competition in uh, the gaming space and the ga in the gaming market. I don't want it to be. Uh, I want it to be Xbox versus PlayStation, not Xbox versus uh, Stadia, Amazon. I don't want that. I want I want it to be a slugfest, bloodbath between Xbox and PlayStation. Do that sound selfish? Do that sound unrealistic? I don't know. I maybe I maybe I'm just you know too old. Maybe that's it. You know I'm used to uh, good competition between consoles. You know back from the SNES and Genesis to the uh, PlayStation and Sega Saturn to the PlayStation and, and, and N64 to the Dreamcast to the PlayStation 2 which wasn't much of a competition but you get what I'm saying from the PlayStation 2 to the original Xbox again wasn't much competition but Xbox came to play the original Xbox came to play they brought the games they introduced um, Xbox Live the only thing I disagree with was to pay, you know, to play online thing with Xbox Live back then. But that was great competition. You know what I mean? And I feel like all of us benefited because we benefited from the best gaming can be. And I don't feel like services is the best gaming can be. I don't. Some of the best experience that I've ever experienced in gaming came at a premium came at a premium 
You know, somebody told me the other uh, was talking yesterday. Said, "Ain't no game worth seventy dollars. Ain't no game even worth forty dollars." I'm like, what? First of all, you can't put a price tag on some of the experiences that we've gotten from gaming throughout our life. And I'm ta- I'm I'm specifically talking to gaming fans, not somebody that's casually just you know casually gaming, right? I'm talking about people who are passionate, who uh, enjoy gaming um, much more than just some kind of pick them up and put them down past the time type of thing. I'm talking about, man, some of the most amazing, memorable experiences you could ever have in your life come from certain games. You know? I can name games you know, off the top of my head that have just literally blown my mind. You know what I mean? At that point, time period anyways. I want more of that. And I think that's the best way for it to happen is to make make games at a premium. You know, no, Don't cut costs for anybody. Make them at a premium so we can enjoy premium content. You know? Not, and I'm not trying to, like, play... Um, what's that word everybody used that I just can't stand uh, gatekeeping it's not about gatekeeping it's about just you know the best you can possibly get I'm not look I got a wife I'm not gonna you know take her to um, a cheap experience or you know you know sell myself short or sell her short on an experience, on a vacation, or a just a a, 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 um, a dinner date, or or anything like that, just to save a few dollars, because I feel like it's not worth it. If I take my wife out to a, a place that she never, you know, been before, five star restaurant, it's for an entire experience that you can't get anywhere else. You know what I mean? And that comes at a cost. It comes. It, it's at a premium. You know, I wouldn't treat. I wouldn't treat my wife to nothing like that. I wouldn't treat myself to nothing like that. I won't settle for nothing less than that. Put Starfield on on play on Xbox. Put it on Xbox. Make it a um, console exclusive. So people got to get an Xbox to enjoy Starfield. Boost the sales of the Xbox. Make people go crazy over an Xbox just to get at that game. Make it start a trend. Make it start a trend so people want. And then that would that push PlayStation to push more, and then Xbox push more, and and you, I mean, things would just go crazy. I want I want these companies to fight for a dollar. Fight. I don't want no shortcuts. I don't want no easy ways. I don't want no. None of that. I don't want an easy way to, to, to get money out of my pocket. Make them come up with amazing ideas that will make me want to come out of my pocket for, some, for, for something that they got. Take my money is what they say. Make them take. I want them to take my money. You know what I mean? Like, really, I, I want them to give me an experience that I can never get anywhere else that's what i want i want xbox to give me an experience that i can't get anywhere else and i'm saying this hypothetically you know what i mean i personally personally i've been burned by xbox to the point where it's gonna take a while for them to show me that they mean business and game pass ain't good enough for me it's just not and this is no shot at game pass it's just my standards are higher my standards are higher than Game Pass. That's all. And there's no shot at anybody that prefer Game Pass. It's just that my standards are higher. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Make Starfield an Xbox exclusive. Xbox console exclusive, that is. And I know that sounds unrealistic, but make it exclusive. I mean, you know, I'll even settle for an Xbox brand exclusive where, you know, it's on PC and, um, and, uh, uh, what you call that, uh, X PC and Xbox. 
I mean, Game Pass. I I, I settle for that because that would even push PlayStation to work harder, to sell consoles, to do you know. That's cool too, but I would much rather have the Xbox console lock Starfield up and don't let it go to PC and don't let it go to Game Pass. Why? Because I am a console guy. PC guys can say the same thing. I won't knock them. That's their preference. You know what I mean? Don't cheat. Don't no cheats. No 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 cheat my way out of nothing. You know? Earn it. Earn my money. That's all I wanted to say. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Wrong. I'm gone.